today. I'm going to tell you the story of star spirits and good wishes. Narration. In the sanctuary of Starhaven, there rests a fable treasure called the Star Rod, which has the power to grant all wishes. Oh, I'm sorry. I seem to have accidentally inserted a Kirby game into my totally legal N64 machine. Now star kids may rise to the haven to deliver people's wishes. But those wishes will not come true. Huh. A Mario RPG where the main conflict is the bad guy making it so that wishes can't be granted? I haven't seen that before. I'm throwing a party at my casa today. Mario and Luigi. I would be honored if you both could attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you here soon. Sincerely, Peach. Okay, I'm sorry. That signature does not say Peach. It says Nenny or something like that. We got invited by Princess Nenny. Oh, sh I didn't know Club Penguin was a Mario spinoff. Do you know of a place called Shooting Star Summit? Know it. It's literally like two seconds away from this castle. How would anyone not know it? Bowser! But this can't be. It was you who made the ground shake just now, wasn't it? Whatever did you do? <laughs> yeah, that was me. I've lifted your castle up into the sky now. It's sitting on my castle now. Okay, I believe in a world where a giant turtle dragon and his 80-year-old nanny slash lover try to take over a kingdom of mushroom people from a human princess, only to have that princess's Italian plumber slash lover get in his way. But how the zuck did you dig under Peach's castle, put your own castle there, make the castle not only fly into the sky, but take Peach's castle with it? Like, how did you know it was gonna work? How would you have tested that out? How did no one notice that you were putting an entire castle underground? Gravely injured, but I think he'll recover. But Bowser has the Star Rod. Now he's mightier than Mario. It's hopeless. All is lost. Everybody just calm down. As long as we keep it together, there's always hope. Now. Our fates are in Mario's hands. We must try to revive him. Revive him? I thought he was just gravely injured, not dead. Oh, who could that be? This red shirt, this hat, and this mustache. You know, this really looks like the one and only Mario. It couldn't be, could it? The real Mario? As opposed to all those fake Marios roaming around? Do people just copy Mario's outfit around here? Because I haven't seen a single person that even looks close to Mario. This is Goomba Village. It's a tiny village that's just west of Toad Town. The only residents are me and a single family of Goombas. The Goombas in the family are just the nicest folks you'll ever meet. They're the ones who found you unconscious in the forest and carried you here to get better. Carried with what? Their mouths? They're Goombas. They couldn't have called you to help them out? You're the one with hands. Oh, Mario. Hello, dearie. You may call me Goomba. I'm a Goomba grandmother, so that's where I got the name. <laughs> Were you born as a grandmother? Did you legally change your name once you had grandchildren? By the by, Mario, I heard from Goomba. You're taking it upon yourself to try and rescue the princess from Bowser's clutches. Oh yeah! Mario can beat Bowser with one hand tied behind his back! Hush now, Goombario. Mario, please take this hammer. It should serve you well. If I were just a bit younger, I'd accompany you on your trip. I'd have done some damage. The years have started to weigh on me, though. I tell you, this lower back pain. I don't know, man. You fell from a high altitude onto a broken veranda, and you didn't even sweat it. I think you'd kick ass just fine. This is a Goomba. Goombas are what you'd call small fries. Actually, they're pretty much the smallest fries. Hey, wait! I'm one of them! 
Max HP is 2, attack power is 1, defense power is 0. You can jump on them or whack them with the hammer. These guys are old school. They've been around since you were in Super Mario Brothers. Well, that's kind of meta. Is Super Mario Brothers like a TV show in this world? Is this all just a play that everyone's aware of? Teenage Mutant Koopa Brothers, villains with a half brain. Show our king that special attack you do so well. Yes, ma'am. Ready, everybody. <laughs> That this is oh. How'd you like it, King Bowser? How was it? Oh yeah, excellent. Really, I'm not easily impressed either. I don't know, man. I think you are. Literally, all that attack is is them spinning in place while stacked on top of each other, and you don't even know if the attack is effective or not. I wonder what my brother Mario is doing right now. Wow! Mario! It's you! Good to see you! And you're alright! After all that castle craziness, I was really worried about you. Not worried enough to go look for him, though. You were just sitting here singing to yourself. Luigi, Mario's been in a coma for days. Huh? And who are you? I'm Gumbario. Nice to meet you. I see. Great. Just great. You're an exciting adventure with Mario. Oh, talk about unfair. See, someone has to look after this house, so I can't leave. What the hell are you talking about? The house is in the middle of West City Bumfuck Mushroom Kingdom. Plus, didn't both of you leave the house when you went to Peach's party? Why was it okay to leave the house then? <laughs> Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they've treated us Koopas over the years. Well, hold on now. You guys are the outliers. There's an entire village of normal-ass Koopas that aren't bothering anybody. They're just out there living their best life. You guys are the ones being assholes taking over kingdoms and shit. I'm so sorry. Please ask for something easy. Something a small star can do. Then, can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured, and I have to save them all as soon as possible! Oh, I'm sorry. I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Why not? Couldn't she just hold on to you and float back down to the Mushroom Kingdom? Even if she's too heavy, I can't imagine the fall would kill either of you. Which makes me wonder, they keep Peach locked in her room, but why would they still give her access to her balcony where it would be easiest for her to escape? Furthermore, why doesn't she? She has the floating ability, right? At least a parasol of some kind to float down somewhat safely? Why do you keep on knocking? I'm telling you, he's out! What the? Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute. That face seems very familiar to me. Oh! Maybe. No. Yes! It must be! You're Mario! I've been waiting for you. You should've come earlier. Well, it doesn't help when you're being a dick about it and don't answer the door when someone knocks. Can't you see what kind of madness is going on? This village is in an uproar because of the fuzzies. You do know what fuzzies are like, don't you, Mario? They look like this. What, are you, like, showing us a picture or something? How are you describing what a fuzzy looks like without actually telling us? I might have known. You're so clever, Mario. Am I? All I did was push a block. Anyone could have figured that one out. Do you happen to know Professor Colorado? Naturally, he's a Koopa who's a professor of archaeology. He's also known as an explorer. Right. Well, I live next to him. I've been admiring Professor Colorado ever since I was in my egg. How is that possible? Did your parents tell you about him before you were born? How do you remember that? And why is having a consciousness before you were even hatched a recurring theme in the Mario universe? What? What kind of... What? If doors come down and block our way, I get it, but the wall literally just... moved.
<laughs> Loser, serves you right. You fell for it. Oh, yeah, dude, you got me. It's not like it was literally the only thing I could do because the door to advance is locked. Yeah, those stinky Cooper bros worked his way too hard. They were making us work for 25 hours a day. Unreal. Huh. I mean, in a world where a short, portly plumber can jump up to three times his own height, I wonder if the hours are different in this world. Who knows? Maybe there's 28 hours in a day. Or maybe there's just 24 and this bob has no concept of time. I was just one of many bob working here. But those Koopa bros. Once Bowser took over, they started working us into the ground. Wait, what did you used to do? What was this fortress used for before Bowser took over? Bombette says she's always worked here, but doing what? If you help us, I promise I'll return the favor. Oh, how nice! We'll be good friends from now on, I can feel it! We'll make a super team, Mario! W really? I just got Cooper 20 minutes ago, how do I already have a new party member? Oh gee, I almost forgot! I haven't even told you about what I can do! Silly me. My specialty is exploding. Check this out. See, if there are any cracks in the wall, I can probably break it. Let me try this one. Take cover! See that? You see what I bring to the party, Mario? Oh, an escape route! Well, I... I guess I never thought about doing that before. That's the one thing you guys do. How did it never occur to any of you that you could do that? Wait, what? I thought those were just shells in some dark carcass kind of way. What were those Koopas doing? Just floating there? It didn't seem like there was any way to get in or out of there. Ugh, you're pathetic. Are you always this weak? The sequel should be called Paper Bowser. The sequel to what? Do you know that we're in a video game? Are you breaking the fourth wall right now? The fireplace, quite nice. So big and so warm. Hmm, a warm fireplace. Don't you find that suspicious? Why would we? Are you implying that a fireplace should be hot, not warm? Because no one gets that close to a fireplace. They're supposed to be warm. Hey, look at this. It looks like somebody left a private diary just lying around. Should we read it? Oh, you like doing this sort of thing, do you? Tisk tisk. Hey, don't shame me for something I'm forced to do. My only options were yes and yes light. Mario, listen carefully. You must save the other star spirits quickly. If the seven of us come together, we'll be able to bestow upon you a star power called the Star Beam. Huh. A Mario RPG where the objective is to collect or save seven stars? Haven't seen that before. Get ready to hurt, Mario! I'm gonna show you a new skill I just picked up! Yeah! Check it out! You've never seen anything like it before, have you? Wow. Squatting. Impressive. Reject turtle. Return to egg. It seems that one of the star spirits is being held captive somewhere in Dry Dry Desert. Bowser wrote it in his diary. Some place called Dry Dry Ruins. The princess braved the dangers of the castle to get you this clue, Mario. She found a secret passageway in her own room that led to an empty hallway that led to an empty room, Twink. Calm down. Well, would you like me to cook you something? Which ingredient would you like me to use? Then I shall cook with dry shroom. I'll whip up something special just for you, honey. It'll be fabulous. Just a moment. Sha la 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 la. Oh, I'm so sorry. This recipe didn't work out. Oh well. <laughs> Here, please. Hey, you call it a mistake, but honestly, it's better than just a dried shroom on its own. That just gives me one HP. At least the mistake adds one FP. I'd call it the solution, if anything. Tis true, big fish are getting whenever I fish here. Yar, I hear caterpillars be making the best bait. You fuzzy pit, you're my bait. 
Just cause you're a fish and I gotta be bait? Nuh uh. You're a plum fool. I may be a caterpillar, but I've still got some rights. You're a caterpillar? What, like on your mom's side of the family? What part of you looks like a caterpillar? Oh, huh, that's the one. Oh, thanks for finding it. I'm so relieved. Uh, actually, I'm also looking for two other letters I may have lost. It wasn't my fault, really. <laughs> if you find them, could you... Thank you so much. That one wasn't even hard to find. Meanwhile, what the hell are you doing? You're just loitering around here, not even pretending to look for something. Oh, there we go. That's one of the ones I dropped by accident. Thanks so much, really. Of course, there's still one more letter left. If at all possible, could you please find it too? I'm really scouring this area down here, but so far I haven't had much luck. Well, maybe it has something to do with the fact that you don't even move two feet from where you're floating. Actually, to be honest, I haven't just lost letters on Mount Rugged. I may have sort of dropped some all over the Mushroom Kingdom while I was flying. You are just the worst postman ever. Huh? You talking to me? I don't see anyone else here. All right, you are talking to me. It's been a long while since I first came here from my home in Flower Fields, but you're still the very first person to speak a word to me. Nobody ever notices me. The few people I actually see just think I'm blooming. Well, maybe it has something to do with the fact that you're literally buried underground. What ho? Buying a dusty hammer after a dried shroom is a secret sign that only friends of Mr. Mustafa know. That means you're in with Mustafa. That seems like a really bad security measure. Like, what if someone who's in a really rough financial situation shows up and happens to buy those two items in that order? Would they just be in with the top dog even if they didn't mean to be? I am Mustafa. I'm the one you've been seeking all this time. When I'm out and about in Dry Dry Outpost, I use the name Sheik. The Legend of Mario, a Carino of Paper. We interrupt Paper Mario to bring you Disney's Aladdin. It's a Chomp. You've heard about Chomps before, I'm sure. Max HP is four, attack power is three, and defense power is three. They're made of such hard stuff that most of your attacks won't even phase them. I heard a rumor that the Chomps are a little peeved at Tutan Koopa because he works them so hard. Who on earth would you have heard this rumor from? We just met Tutan Koopa. Were you mingling with other chain chomps while we made our way through the ruins? Your nastiness! We have a problem! Why, Cammy Koopa? What's got you so riled up? You look upset! What?! The Star Spear flew away from Tubba Blubba's castle?! C King Browser, keep your voice down! Princess Peach will hear you. Yes, right. Tell me the details over there. Tink, did you hear that? Yes, I sure did. The Star Spirit must have escaped. W of course it must have! Bowser just said it did! Yeah, Master Tubba Blubba lives in the castle at the top of Gusty Gulch. I heard that somewhere near his castle is a mansion in a village full of ghosts. I guess Master Tubba Blubba goes there sometimes to catch booze. And then, when he catches one, he gobbles it down starting with its head. What do you mean starting with its head? Booze are nothing but head. Yep, very similar. You look a lot like this fella Mario who's on Bowser's Wanted poster. Now, Gib, what's your name? Hmm, well, Luigi, eh, part? You do look like this dude. Well, you're not Mario, I guess. I reckon you can pass. Mario wins by claiming he's Luigi and doing absolutely nothing. Seriously, you never have to fight Buzzer. Why not make it so I have to fight him before or after Dry Dry Ruins? Like, you can choose to lie to him at first, and then you have to fight him, or fight him from the get-go and then just go right on through when we come back. Instead, he stops us twice, we can lie to him twice, and he's just like, understood, have a good day, partner. Ma Mario! This madness has to end! Will you go into the forest and see what's going on? I'm ashamed to say it's my job, but I just can't go! 
I'm too frightened of ghosts! Why would they put someone who's afraid of ghosts in charge of guarding the entrance to a forest that connects to a mansion full of ghosts? What kind of ship is Peach running in this kingdom? They seem pretty unremarkable. Although, you have to wonder how they float in the air like that. I love the logic of the Mushroom Kingdom. Like, if it has wings, it makes perfect sense that it can fly, but if it just floats without them, it's suddenly weird. Like, I'm sorry, my guy, but a bipedal turtle with wings is just as goddamn strange as a floating squid that doesn't need water to survive. Whoa, oh, you must be Mario. Welcome to my dojo. I am the master. I am the head of this dojo. Huh. An optional dojo where you start off fighting the students and end up fighting the master three times while the master gets incrementally stronger with each fight? Haven't seen that before! Scary. Mario, do you know the area near here called Gusty Gulch? A hill rises at the top of the gulch and upon it sits the castle of Tubba Blubba. He's a monster and he eats us, ghosts! Booze are his favorite food. Many friends have been eaten. We've tried attacking the evil fiend to save our friends. But Tubba Blubba is far too strong for us bulls to slow him down even slightly. He seems invincible. That's why he's known as the Invincible Tubba Blubba. There is hope, however. If the rumors are true, then Tubba Blubba has a secret that he closely guards. And that secret is... Probably something that relates to his weak point. So, Mario. I want you to find out his secret and defeat him. You'll do it, won't you? Of course, you'll get a reward for doing us this service. If you beat Tubba Blubber up, I'll let you have this. Mm, Mario. I'm sorry we must meet in such a dire situation. My name is Scholar. I escaped from Tubba Blubba's castle, but... I was in quite a weakened state when I made it outside. As a result, I couldn't go back to the sky at first. I tried to head for Shooting Star Summit to make the leap to Star Haven, but I became lost in the forest. While hunting for a way out, I was captured by Booz. And now here I am. I don't know what to say. What do you think, Mario? Not such a bad deal, is it? You would have had to fight Tubba Blubber to save the Star Spirit anyway, right? Yeah, but now you have the Star Spirit I'm after. And so far, every Boo I've met has been kind of a dickhead to me. I have absolutely zero reason to help you out. Hell, I have zero reason to be nice to you. Plus, that just means that now I don't have to worry about figuring out what the invincible Tubba Blubba's weakness is. I can just beat the shit out of you, rescue Scholar, and be on my merry way. You really didn't think this through, did you? Oh, oh no. Tubba Blubba's coming. Everybody, hide! Lady Bo, you have to hide Mario! Mario, we have to hide! Use my power! Immediately! Press down C! Everything's cool, lady. He can't see you. Nope, there's no way Tubba Blubba can see you right now. If the boos can go transparent whenever they want, why is Tubba Blubba eating them an issue? It's not like he's sneaky or quiet. Everyone knows when he's coming. Yeah, it's inconvenient, but you're ghosts. It costs literally nothing to just hide for a few seconds until he leaves. Hi there, I'm Yaki. A faithful and chatty follower of Master Tubba Blubba. My very important job is to guard his valuables. Why can this kid talk about the others can't? It's time to reunite! Oh yeah, now I'm feeling good. With my heart and body united, there's no way to beat me. Actually, that's the only way to beat you. The whole crux of your invincibility was that your heart was separated from your body, and now that you're together, you're just a dude. If the heart had hit behind the body, then I'd be f***ed. I give up. Look, I'll give back all the ghosts I ate. Forgive me. Wait, so the booze are still alive? Well, not alive, but they don't... I don't know, disappear? Couldn't they have gone transparent and just escaped from Tubba Blubba's body? I'm actually a really sensitive guy trapped in a huge body. I don't want to be invincible anymore if it means I have to fight guys like you! 
<laughs> Serves you right, and everyone who got eaten has returned safely. Hooray! But I guess I better tell everyone not to scare old Tubba Blubber anymore. He used to love scaring Tubba Blubber night and day because he was such a coward. Yeah, you're the bad guys. I really hate that I helped release all those booze now. This is like if a group of bullies harassed an innocent kid, the kid works out, starts pummeling the bullies, and the bullies are like, What the f***? This is so unfair! Hey Superman, could you help us beat up this bully and we'll give you Lois Lane back? I don't know why Superman is who I defaulted to, but I'm sticking with it! For the love of What? Why is Princess Peach here? What's wrong with those guards? How has no one noticed that there's a button in here that leads to a hallway in Peach's room? Like, someone must have noticed it and reset it, right? Otherwise, how are we still able to use it? So, when you go back to Tubba Blubba's castle, everything he broke while chasing us is just magically fixed. Like, what? Don't think I'm as vulnerable as I was before. Check this out! More power! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's see how you like the new improved Junior Koopa. What kind of Koopa is Junior Koopa? Because paratroopers don't have wings like those. In fact, no Koopas have wings like those. The closest thing I could even think of is swoopers. Did a, did a paratrooper have a baby with a swoop? Actually, where are Junior Koopa's parents? They're just letting this apparently newborn child explore the world, stalking this older dude for the sake of trying to beat him up. Also, Wait a second, did you call yourself Junior Koopa? I thought your name was Junior Troopa. I've been calling you Junior Koopa because that's what you called yourself just now, but I knew something sounded off about that. Dad says he would have gotten out of business if we hadn't gotten that calculator back. How the hell would you have gone out of business? You never restock your inventory, you only sell, and I'm your only client. All you would need to know is basic addition. A shy guy stole my dictionary. Please get it back from him. I'm... I'm losing IQ points. That's... Not how that works, dude. So, in researching a strategy for how to beat this anti-guy at the level I was currently at, I accidentally found out that you can skip the battle by giving him lemon candy, which you can get by mixing a lemon you can get from the Oasis near Dry Dry Outpost, and cake mix you can get from some Shy Guys in Shy Guy's toy box. But Taste T can't mix those items until she has the cookbook you get from giving Gourmet Guy the cake that Taste T gives you for getting her frying pan back. My question is, how in the mother of f are you supposed to know you can do this? Apparently, Russ T tells you that Anti-Guy likes lemon candy, but I have no idea when or how he gives you this information, considering I need to get his dictionary back, as well as the mystery note to decipher in which order I need to hit the star boxes. And even knowing that this is possible, how the hell am I supposed to know how to make lemon candy? Trial and error? There's no way to see what two ingredients will make until you give Tasty the okay to do it. Also, why would I think that using cake mix would make candy? Shouldn't cake mix make... You know, cake? Putting the super block here is such a goddamn scummy move for first time players. Imagine having all your characters but one upgraded to super rank and not knowing you're about to get what, arguably one of the best characters in the game, so instead you waste the upgrade on someone else. And right before a boss battle, we're upgrading what is even more useful because they pierce general guy's tanks defenses. And who do you waste that upgrade on? Probably Goombario. Because why the hell else would you have upgraded Goombario at this point, when everyone else is more useful? Granted, that didn't happen to me because I knew what was coming, but design-wise, this is such a shitty move. I guess I'd better report you to King Bowser. You aren't supposed to leave your room. But I am really hungry. Uh, tell you what, I'll keep this a secret if you make me something really yummy. So, Princess Peach, what do you say? Will you cook me something or what? I'd love to cook for you, Mr. Gourmet Guy, but I have no ingredients and no utensils. Oh, that's no problem. There's a kitchen one floor below us. It's five star. You can go cook there. Here, you'll need this. This key will open the door that leads downstairs. Now you can get to the kitchen. Wh Why would Bowser trust Gourmet Guy with the key to one of the rooms in the castle? Gourmet Guy's not even supposed to be here. He's supposed to still be in Shy Guy's toy box. And you can't even make the argument that this is a separate gourmet guy because he seems to know Mario. According to the information Princess Peach and I got, it seems that one of the honorable star spirits is being held at Mount Lava Lava on Lava Lava Island. 
You wouldn't believe what the princess went through to get this information. Oh no, she made a fucking strawberry cake for some guy. What a daunting task. Mario, it's me. You know, the whale. Can you hear me? That stomach ache seems to have cleared right up. I feel fantastic. Whoosh. Wait, if the whale had a stomach ache and the ache was caused by the fuzzy pea jumping around and he could expel the fuzzy pea through its blowhole, why didn't the whale try that from the get-go? It wouldn't have even needed Mario's help. <sighs> I feel so much better now. I should call you Dr. Mario. Big Yoshi. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's sitting there. How are you, Mario? Hey, have you talked to the Cheep Cheep over there yet? She's famous around here for being a great babysitter. Her name is Sushi. She watches over the kids. What would we do without her? I honestly have no idea, considering that you adult Yoshi don't seem to be doing anything, so why the f do you need a babysitter? And why is your babysitter a Cheep Cheep? Shouldn't she be enjoying her life in the water? How does an agreement like this even go down? Did one of the Yoshi just walk up to Sushi one day and be like, You know what? I think you, a fish, would be a great caregiver for our five omnivorous dinosaur children. What do you say? Also, how messed up is it that her name is Sushi? That's like naming a cow character Burger or a chicken character Nuggy. It's just cruel. Oh, such ill fortune. The children are missing. They seem to have secretly slipped off to the jungle. They don't know it's dangerous. We must get them back here to safety! Mario, could I ask you to look for these lost children? You guys realize that you're all Yoshi that can eat virtually anything, right? Why don't you just head out into the jungle and find the kids yourselves instead of freaking out over how dangerous it is? You guys are dangerous! That's racist! Yeah! What's wrong with this rock? It sank right into the lava! That's what's weird? You just survived falling into lava, my guy. What are you made out of? Aye! Barely nicked me, old boy. Oh, my poor shell. Oh. I'm sorry, did Colorado use the power of the Star Rod too? Because he seems to be pretty invincible if he can survive touching lava and getting crushed by a giant spiked boulder. This is a lava piranha. Lava piranhas are plants that can somehow survive in lava. Look, I know I've seen some crazy shit in these games, but how does a plant survive in lava? Potaboos? No problem, that makes sense. Lava bubbles? That's pretty cool, they even have lava in their name. Blargs? They're pretty weird, but dinosaurs covered in lava is pretty metal. But plants? Piranha plants that can survive in lava? I know I defended the blooper being out of water, but at least I can make sense of how it can be alive. Where is this piranha plant rooted? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you're telling me that Mistar, who we just rescued and should be relatively weakened from being captured, can carry Colorado, Mario, and our partner while outspeeding an erupting volcano, but Twink is too small to gently float Peach off of Bow's moving castle? Oh, boosh, that's a wooden chest. It would have burst into flames the second the lava touched it. Question three. What is the name of the scary round monster living in Dry Dry Outpost? Oh, right, Princess Peach. That's correct. You still got a chance to make a comeback. What do you mean a comeback? That was the third question, and so far I've been able to answer two questions correctly. I'm winning. Oh, Princess Peach, I almost forgot. Here's your prize for participating. This is a sneaky parasol. If you face someone and press B, you can transform into that person. You just have to promise not to use it to sneak around. I mean, nobody would know you were Princess Peach. Imagine! Sorry for giving you such a little prize, Princess. A little prize?! You just gave me the ability to transform into anything, and this was the participation prize. What do the other two participants get? A box that is infinitely spawning money and a butterfly that lets them swap between dimensions? Compared to this, the jam and jelly I get for winning looks like spit in a jar. Huh? What are you all doing? Hey, it looks like fun. I'm gonna join in. What? You already finished? Oh, of all the rotten luck! <laughs> 
You know, this really makes me wonder. Bowser kind of won in this game, so... Is this just what he does all day? He just wanders around the rooms of the castle looking for something to do? What's his end goal? He took over the castle, Peach still doesn't want to be with him, and... Well, hardly anything's changed. Each area we visit has its own storyline pretty separate from Bowser. Bowser hasn't really done anything when you think about it. He just spends his time trying to have fun and writing in his diary. To think this island was put in terrible peril because of the meddling of Bowser's men. Was it? Because as far as I could tell, everything we fought during that chapter was something native to Lava Lava Island. I don't think the volcano is going to stop erupting just because we defeated a plant that lived inside it. That's kind of what volcanoes do. I mean, hell, the place is called Lava Lava Island. It must have gotten its name from somewhere before Bowser put you here, right? Oh, hello. How are you doing? What? You want the seed? Oh, I completely forgot you. I just gave it to a guy named Colorado or something. Sorry about that. I'm so generous that I just have to give something to everyone. Okay, then give me something. You know, other than the aneurysm from how angry I am at you. Also, if you just gave the seed to Colorado, how did he come here, cross the water to this little piece of land where you are, and not notice the giant-ass wooden chest in the Middle Island? You think he'd recognize his own precious treasure? How does Junior Troopa know where we are at any given time? Like, he must ask someone, right? But who else knows where we are in order to tell him? Is it Merlin? I bet it's Merlin. Check this out! More power! I know all your fighting patterns now, Mario. Hold on, how does the eggshell on your head have a spike on it? Is the egg just a part of your biology? Uh, you know what? Now that I think about it, I have wings. If I had just flown to the island, I wouldn't have wasted my HP. What ho? Now who might that be? <laughs> Up here, son. They call me Wise Wister. I'm the oldest tree here in Flower Fields, the land of trees, flowers, grasses, and plants. What the hell is it with Nintendo and giant sentient trees? Oh, hello. It seems like ages since I last saw a visitor here. I'm Rosie, a rose spirit. I'm ever so glad to meet you. Here I am in full bloom, and there's nobody to look at me. Please. Admire me all you like. Breathtaking, aren't I? Aren't I just incredible? And so humble. Huh? What did you say? I should give you this stone? Oh dear. You're saying Lily's in trouble without this? How very sad. Oh well, it can't be helped. The stone is mine now, you see. You mean Lily will wither up without this stone? Huh. How sad. Really. How very pitiful. As hard as it is to believe that Lily sometimes acts like she's prettier than I am. She's dumb, but she's not evil. And if she's gone, there'll be no flowers to set off my beauty. Let's see. Tell you what. If you bring me something more beautiful than this stone, I'll think about trading it. So, let's wait till then. So, let me get this straight. You would rather let a fellow flower die than give up your shiny new toy? It's not even a toy. You can at least play with a toy. You're literally just looking at the water stone, you malignant, vain... Narcissist of a plant. That is no crystal berry, sir. That is a Topps Ring Pop. Not sponsored by Ring Pop. Thank you so very much. I'll give you some miracle water from the spring. Here you are. This is the most nourishing water around. It's water with a little lily extract. Ew. I'm the sun. No. That's not entirely true. I should say... I was the sun. Well, I salute you, but considering you're the goddamn sun, shouldn't we be burning up by being anywhere close to you right now? And by we, I don't just mean Mario and Bombette, I mean we as in the entire planet we're on. Hey man, I don't think we've ever met, have we? I mean, you're Mario, right? My name is Lackey Lester, er, uh, no, it's Michael, no, um, oh yeah, Spike, yeah, yeah, I'm Spike. Well, whatever, never mind. Wait! Aw, oh, no, Lucky Lulu! No, please! Please have mercy on my poor sweet Lucky Lester! Aw, oh, don't call me Lucky Lester! It's Spike, remember? I told you I changed my name last month! Come on now! How should she remember when you can't even remember? 
Hey man, I've got a question. What in the world are you doing all this fighting for? Why? Because Spike is a million times cooler! Lackey Lester is the dumbest name ever! It just doesn't fit the image of a dangerous rebel like me! The name doesn't matter, man! What matters is this! I've decided I'm going with you! You're the real deal! Traveling with you has gotta be as cool as it gets! Okay, well, I'm glad you want more out of life, Lackey Lester, but you can't just decide that you're coming with me. I mean, don't I get to say it? Oh, I don't? Okay, eight partners it is. It's so nice seeing my dear flower fields full of light again after such a long time. There's nothing like sunlight. Oh yes, of course. You should plant that magical bean, don't you think? It should grow well now. I'd say the best place for you to plant it would be over there where you can see the soil. Oh now, what are you doing? Haven't you ever grown a plant? When you're planting something, the order is soil, then the bean, then water. You literally just said plant the bean over there where you can see the soil, meaning there's already soil there, you overgrown twig. Why would I think to add more soil to the soil? I've been reluctant to bring this up, but I feel like this is a good opportunity to. Can no one see Twink? Because, like, he's only ever been acknowledged once by one of Bowser's minions, and it was that one magic Koopa that follows him after he delivers a lucky star to Mario. But he's always in the room when Bowser, Kami Koopa, or even the guards confront Peach, and no one seems to... say anything about him. And he's still following me during this blend in with the enemy segment, so wouldn't anybody find it suspicious that this star kid is following some random Koopa troll around? I heard that a lot of Shy Guys also appeared in Toad Town. Supposedly, they came from Shy Guys' toy box. Must be somewhere in town. A toy box? I wouldn't mind seeing that. Maybe they have a Nintendo 64! So, the Nintendo 64 exists in the Mario world? Do you think they could play Paper Mario on it, meaning that they could play Paper Mario in Paper Mario? And then they could play Paper Mario while playing Paper Mario in Paper Mario? Whoa. Infinite loop. This is Can't See Koopa! He seems pretty greedy for such a large Koopa. Max HP is 70, attack power is 10, and defense power is 6. He sometimes does a stamp attack with his shell. That attack has a power of 3. His shell attack also damages party members, like me, so be sure to defend. As with all Koopas, your chances will greatly improve if you can flip him over. His defense power will drop. Watch it though, he'll attack as soon as he's back on his feet. And by the way, is he not just the hugest Koopa ever? Somebody told me that he used to live in Koopa Village. This Goombario title sucks. So a TLDR version of what Goombario said is Turtle huge, Turtle strong, but Big Turtle have normal Turtle bonk, which is bullshit because he has an even bigger weakness, which is to hit his tail after you flip him over. And I wish I knew that when I did this fight, because I had to fight him the normal, less effective way. And as if that weren't bad enough, while this fight is optional, you don't get anything for it. This is a pretty hard fight, and all I get is bragging rights, not even a spit in a jar. Don't get me wrong, if they did give me a jam and jelly, I'd still complain, but at least it's better than nothing. They don't give you a badge, hell, there's not even a story linked to this fight. No side quest, nothing that makes this fight worth doing. So in this game, Merlin the Wizard acts as your Where the Hell Do I Go Next guide. You pay him a fee, he tells you where to go next. And that's great for kids who might have missed some dialogue, or if you didn't get the magical seeds while going through the story. But aside from having to tell us the first Star Spirit location, Merlin up to this point has been completely optional. COMPLETELY. In fact, there's a side quest which snaps you the amazing quick change badge, allowing you to not lose a turn while switching partners, and to trigger it, you need to talk to Merlin, who was standing outside his house during the Shy Guy's toy box incident. For every other instance, a cutscene played out that directed us on where to go next. Oh, Merlin wants to talk to me at his house? Okay, I'll go to Merlin's house. Oh, hey, Twink has an update on something he and Peach learned? Maybe there's something in town that can take me to where I need to go. Hey, where are all these Shy Guys coming from? Hmm, maybe this empty house I can use my newly acquired partner in. I need to go to Lava Lava Island to the south, but there are no boats to take me there. Oh, Colorado wants to go too, and whoa, where'd this tuna come from? But for Shiver City, there's nothing. I kept going to different places, waiting for some kind of cutscene to play out. That's how it's worked so far. I found this door that I can't seem to access yet, so I thought maybe there's something plot related there. Until finally, I swallowed my pride and said, fine, I'll go pay Merlin to tell me where to go, and wouldn't you fucking know it? The place which has always been optional, and therefore I've never used because I always made my way around without it, was the place I needed to go to advance the story. And oh, now that damn sewer door works. Lovely. No reply. Mayor Penguin's body doesn't budge an inch. What's this?
He has a memo in his hand that says Herringway. Darling, would you like a cup of tea? Hmm? Oh, dear, you'll know you'll catch a cold if you sleep there. People think that the Thousand Year Door is dark because there's an outline of a toad's body and a noose in the middle of Rogueport, but this game has characters that use a variation of the word murder an uncomfortable number of times, especially for a Mario game. Like, initially I just thought, oh, haha, the silly Pinguingi Mare has just passed out and people are gonna think he's, you know, not with us, as it were. I know how this works. But then the wife keeps calling you a murderer, pretty explicitly, I might add, and then the city guard shows up and the mayor still doesn't wake up. And then the whole town starts calling you a murderer and they don't let you leave Shiver City. If not for how bright this game is visually, this would probably be seen as one of the darkest moments of all of Mario. What's going on here, madam? Just calm down now. You need to speak slowly so I can get to the bottom of this. My husband is dead! Look at him lying there! Oh, my darling husband! Somebody clipped his flippers! By Puffin, you're right! The mayor's been murdered! This is like a mystery novel, except it's real! How tragic! But madam, if I may ask, who on earth would have reason to put this penguin on ice? Him! Right there! That man with the suspicious mustache! I told him not to come in the house, but he barged right in! Oh, f*** you, lady! You were the one that told me your husband was back here! And honestly, what does she have to gain by accusing Mario? After the mayor didn't wake up, I deadass thought she had killed him and was waiting for someone to come see the mayor in order to cover it up. And while that wasn't the case, she has to be hiding something, cause she's hella suspicious. Those jars? I wouldn't be surprised if she was an organ trafficker. I knew you were innocent the whole time! A backroom murder case? Please! How completely silly! That overzealous guard must read too many mystery novels! <laughs> anyway... Listen, moron, uh, Mario, you have to decide who's lying. Pick the one you think is lying and whack him really hard with the hammer. Fine, yeah, fine with me. If you think you'll get away with a trick like that, fine. I know Mario knows who I am. I believe in you, Mario. Yo, what made you think that I was the one lying, huh? Well, not much, actually. Aside from you being really bad at concealing the fact that you dislike me, I couldn't really tell the difference. And that's a huge problem I have with this game in general. The partners feel more like abilities than characters. I had to use Cooper to hit that switch, but even watching this footage back, I couldn't tell you when the last time I used him was, in battle or otherwise. I show up to Koopa Village, get a shell back form, and 20 minutes later you recruit Bombette, an all-around better partner. I never learned anything about who Cooper was, except maybe that he was a fan of Colorado. He's really just... a blue-shelled Koopa. Goombario is only really useful for being able to see an enemy's health bar, which is rendered useless if you get the Peekaboo badge. Bombette only really talks to you during her initial cutscene and then literally never again until this chapter during her own version of the Duplo Ghost copy. Paracarry is an incompetent postman, which sounds interesting until you realize that's literally all he is. Bo was really promising because she seemed to have more of a personality, being more self-important, eccentric, elegant, and out of sight is pretty useful in battle. But then her chapter is over and we never hear from her again. We only need her two more times, and both times are in Shy Guy's toy box to turn us transparent. Watt is probably my favorite partner because they're a baby, so they're allowed to be a blank slate while still being cute, and they pierce enemy defenses with the added bonus of being able to buff Mario and paralyze enemies. Not to mention allowing us to see hidden blocks with their field ability. Yeah, we get them late in their chapter, but at least they're still relevant after their chapter is over, unlike Lackey Lester, who we meet and recruit basically at the end of his chapter and is only required for three segments, two of which are really short and in his own chapter. All we know about him is that he doesn't like his name, wants to fight for a cause bigger than himself, and that he's somebody's boyfriend, I guess. Which is surprisingly a lot for a character we meet, fight, and recruit in five minutes. And Sushi's... 
All right. She's very protective of those around her. Her attack is decent. She can buff Mario's defenses, but much like Paracarry, while her field ability is used more often than others, it's very situational, and as a character, she's very one-note. And it's like the developers knew this because, as I mentioned, later on in this chapter, the Dupla Ghosts copy Bombette, and shortly thereafter, they copy Cooper again, of all partners. Except this time, they're not even trying, playing it up for laughs, when in reality, they didn't give Cooper or any of the partners much of a character for this to be a challenge. For the Bombette one, I just had to pick out the copies that talk the special characters in their dialogue, but there was nothing defining in the real Bombette's dialogue that made me think, yeah, that's something Bombette would say. And it's a shame, because of all the Paper Mario games, this is the one that has the most diverse cast of party members, not counting the Pixels and Super, because they're more like power-ups than actual characters that are part of the story. But much like the Pixels, the partners in this game don't have much of a presence beyond being an asset for Mario. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Oh no! The last star spirit! King Bowser, forgive me! Huh. You know, I never thought about it, but why didn't Bowser just keep the last star spirit himself? With the star rot, he's invincible, so it's not like I'd be able to get it from him, especially with him being in Peach's castle in the sky. At this point, the only way I can even touch Bowser is if all the star spirits are free and use star beam, but if he has one of them, he would lock me in a catch-22. If anything, scattering the star spirits was the stupidest thing he could have done. Princess Peach, why don't you come with me to watch? You're gonna have a front row seat to see Mario get crushed. You! Here are you! Tie her up immediately! If she gets out this time, heads will roll! God damn, Bowser! You went from wanting to participate in a silly little competition with your minions to straight up decapitation. I'm telling you, man, this game is dark! Mr. Goompapa, Paracarry here. I have a letter for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter duly delivered. The postman's job is never done. Oh, thank you, sir. What would we do without postal service? Oh, how interesting. A letter for Goombari. I guess I could open it. I remember she wrote a letter just the other day, and I was wondering what it was. I see. I guess it was a question. And this seems like the answer. It looks pretty complicated, but I think I understand. I'll tell her all about it. Thanks so much for the prompt delivery. Here, take this. You had me on a wild goose chase all throughout the Mushroom Kingdom since chapter fucking two, delivering letter to letter all the way up to chapter seven, all for a badge that only works 20% of the time, which I'm not even going to use because the badge point cap is 30 and I've maxed that out since Tubba Blubba and this costs seven BP to use and I'm not unequipping my all or nothing power pluses or mega smash, so this was kind of a waste of time. Heck, why do star people have beds? Do they use them? Do they sleep? Do they get tired of floating? Would they not just sleep while floating? Do they sit? Why do they have chairs bigger than their beds? Ah yes, and one more thing. I have one final gift which should come in handy. This is the legendary starship of Starhaven. Bowser is keeping his castle way up in the sky. Higher than Starhaven? How far up is Starhaven anyway? I feel like at that point they're not even in the sky anymore, they're in space. How can they breathe in space? <laughs> Welcome, worm! I'm called the guard door of Bowser's castle. I'm talking to a door now. Okay! Here come the Koopa Bros! I bet you never thought you'd see us again, huh, Mario? We do remember who we are, don't you? Yeah, that's right. They were too cool to forget. A lasting impression, yeah. Only because you remind me of the Ninja Turtles, otherwise I know basically nothing about who any of you are individually. Ah! I found you, Mario! Ah! At last, you're mine! It was a pain finding you, you know? How the zuck did you even get up here? I had to take a goddamn starship to get here. You're but a toddler infiltrating the domain of a king. How? Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Don't think you've won, Mario. I swear to you, I'm going to beat you so bad next time. Gosh. 
Um. So since you beat the guy that beat the Koopa Bros, does that mean you beat the Koopa Bros? No. You beat him. He beat them. But you didn't actually lay a finger on. Ah. Uh, it's still confusing! Not really. If I beat up Mike Tyson, I'm crown champion of punchy sport. I don't gotta beat up whoever the f*** is champion. What's confusing about that? i put together a little surprise for you. A device that increases Bowser's power! King Bowser will be so powerful that not even the power of the star spirits can compare. He'll now truly be invincible, thanks to my wisdom. Are you ready, my king? Then power up! Wait, if the device that Kami Koopa built is the thing we're standing on, how did it know to target Bowser specifically? Why didn't it supercharge anyone else but him? Is it a DNA thing? Did Kami Koopa study genetics? Is she a geneticist? It's not magic, because she said she built it. Did she build it with magic? Why not just use magic? Oh yes! We did it, Twink! Now we must save Mario! But what can I do? I know, Princess Peach, make a wish. Just like you did for me. Make a wish to give more power to the star spirits. Think of the Mushroom Kingdom, Star Haven, Mario. Make a wish to the stars, thinking of all those things. If your wish is strong enough, it will reach the star spirits and give them strength. I use the star spirits to power up the star spirits. What kind of I wish for three more wishes bullshit is this? Mario. I'd like to thank you, too. And Princess Peach, it was an honor to help you in your time of need. I hope, maybe, to see you again sometime. For now, I'm going to become a respectable star and make people's wishes come true. Thank you so much for helping me, Twink. You've always been a stellar friend to me. <laughs> Get it? A stellar friend? Because <laughs> he's a stellar... Okay. Somebody said to me that a way will open when you use a scarf and bucket. What? A scarf for a snowman? Wouldn't it melt him? Huh. I've heard all about the story of your adventure. It's a spectacular story, full of romance, courage, and thrills. Herringway said he definitely wants to write your story. He even came up with a title. What was it again? Let's see. Well... Paper Mario! What do you think? Why would he call it Paper Mario? What aspect of the adventure would indicate to the reader that paper is involved in any way? Plus, isn't the paper aesthetic just a constant truth in this world? The norm, not the exception? Are you all made out of paper? If so, why delineate the material that everyone's made out of? Why not just call it Mario Story or something? If you guys weren't made of paper, would he call it Flesh Mario? Are books made out of flesh in this world? The fuck is wrong with them? A Mario RPG where the credits begin with Luigi who wasn't playable in the game, leading a parade? Haven't seen that before! Oh, ew, but bombs with hands, that's so weird. Postman's job is never done. Hey everyone, Char i 5 here. Thanks so much for watching my CinemaSins pastiche of everything wrong with Paper Mario. I'd like to thank my supporters on Patreon and my channel. If you want to be featured in future videos, then consider helping me out a little bit each month, or hit that join button. To those who do support, stay awesome. You guys should head over to CinemaSins, the awesome people that I pastiche. They also host sister channels that cover music videos, brands, and other topics. If you have some time, why not check everything wrong with Super Mario RPG? Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome. This is Char i 5 signing off.